Well, hey guys, welcome back to Fun Knife Friday. I got this really huge box on my porch the other day. It's so big that you can't even see the box. It's there though. This is gonna be a true unboxing because I have no idea what's in this box, but there was a letter with this package. And let me, let me go ahead and read that. Let me see if this will stay not there. So, so here we go. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's do the unboxing first. Then maybe we can have this all uh, in, in here. So as you can tell, this is a very well thought out uh, production. <laughs> but you wouldn't expect anything less from RJ's Knives. All right, let's see what we will use. I'm going to grab this knife right off here to the side. We've got the the Milwaukee Fastback because it's just an easy, easy peasy box opening machine. Uh, oh, okay. Well, here it just kind of popped open. Oh, well, we got, I'll just go ahead and we'll get dramatic and do the slice. We got all kinds of uh, styrofoamage. All right. A little bit of styrofoam damage. That's okay. Never hurt anybody. Just don't need to. Let's see what we got here as we unveil. Holy smokes. I don't even know what this is. Oh my gosh. Now I see what this is. <laughs> now this makes perfect sense with the letter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh... Wow, I think that, uh... <laughs> oh my, oh my, check this out. This uh, fits onto your hand and you got the uh, Wolverine slash uh, Freddy Krueger things. Holy smokes, this thing will, uh, will slice and dice and make julienne fries in no time. Holy smokes, even the uh, the finger guards here. Yeah, so you hold on to this here and you get that holy moly, holy macaroon. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> see if I can set this in frame. Uh, this is crazy, man. <laughs> well, now this letter makes a whole lot more sense. Dear RJ's Knives, I was shopping for knives as I occasionally do for family and friends when I came upon this perfect, and I mean perfect, Fun Knife Friday item. Once I saw this beauty, I really only thought of two people. The first person was Junior, because I know that he would enjoy and have all kinds of fun with this gift. However, upon reflection, I felt that he may be too young and or lack the maturity needed for such a collection piece. Let's face it. The last thing I want is for Junior's pappy to lose his new job because Junior took this to school and has several teachers, the principal, and maintenance staff trapped in the mechanical room, all scared beyond measure. I heard what happened with Junior in Last Chance Knives. Such a shame. Therefore, the best person to receive this collector's piece is Junior's adopted brother from another mother. Please accept this Fun Knife Friday gift and occasionally say Halloween, weddings, or funerals share with family, friends, and YouTube members and subscribers. Thanks again, RJ's Knives, Byron Kennedy. <laughs> oh man, I had no idea that this was gonna happen. You know, you know who really uh, <clears throat> I think would, would like this is Randy's WSG, because uh, this is the kind of stuff I could see, definitely see hanging on the, uh, the wall there in the, uh, in the basement. Oh my goodness gracious. This will be interesting. Definitely a, a brand new barbecue tool if I ever saw one. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. And each little skull is different that's in, in, in there. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Byron, uh, if this wasn't so big, I think I'd have it out as my Halloween decoration this year. <laughs> Oh, I can't stop laughing. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, 
for this Halloween gift. This is absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to have to come up with some kind of a outfit to wear this thing with and hope I don't get arrested by the local uh, police department. But uh, yeah, this is this is crazy fun. All right, guys. Well, that's it for your Fun Night Friday. Halloween is coming. I, I saw it in all the stores. All the stores have all the Halloween stuff out already. And I'm like, what's going on? It's not even, August isn't even over yet. You know, but uh, but Halloween it is, I guess. I guess uh, we'll start on the uh, Christmas decorations next month in September. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm still old school. You know, I think Halloween should just be in October. Thanksgiving should be in just November. And Christmas should just be in December. But I guess I'm the only person that thinks that way. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Fun Night Friday as much as I did. This is uh, amazing. All right, guys. I will uh, definitely see you in the next video and join us for uh, RJ's Lives this weekend. We'll have fun. All right. Have a good one.